Hi, I'm David Vega, and I'm number seven, and, uh, and I go to Little Lake High School. Hi, uh, I'm Sam Potagachi, I'm number one on the football team. We, uh, we just recently had a red and white scrimmage, and the red and white scrimmage is the varsity football team is split up into two teams, and uh, one is led by one quarterback, he was part of the white team, and I was the other quarterback for the red team. And, uh, you know, it was a great time, there were a lot of fans out that night. Yeah, it was really nice. I mean, our fans are great. They all, uh, I can tell they're having fun. And it was an experience we haven't experienced in many years. Uh, a couple years since our, since our last time doing a red and white scrimmage because we typically don't have enough players. But uh, with the new coaches here, we have new kids showing up. And, uh, oh, yeah. It's like play. new team, new year, new dream. That's the phrase. We all, uh, we, uh, Coach Pennycuff is the new coach, Todd Pennycuff. He, uh, he runs the program. He's a really upbeat guy, ready to go. And he's great with making relationships with players. He's a great guy, and uh, it's, it should be good to see him out on the field. Yeah, it'll be excellent. So we're here to talk about uh, the red and white game and a few plays, actually the top four plays that we thought were uh, the best plays of the night. Yeah, pretty outstanding. A couple kids showed up in the night, and uh, you know, they uh, it's great because once you can put both of those teams together, that's one heck of a team. You're going to see a big big revolution, maybe, uh, maybe playoffs this year. We'll see what happens. So, with number one, we have a 102-yard interception. Uh, the catch was made by Cody England, and it was just an outstanding play. And to go 102 yards on the field on an interception, that especially that was, when I threw it, you know, I I made sure it looked yeah, good. Yeah, he, he, he made uh, sure he went all the way too. He's blocking for him and everything. It's yeah. like, Cody England, he'll be a starter on varsity. He's a junior this year. He, uh, I'm pretty sure he'll be wearing number two, and uh, you'll see him, and he'll be a great player. Yeah, he, he played cornerback and. Man, he's, he's excellent. Really athletic, really fast, and he's really good. For the second best play of the game, you know, it's, uh, it was for the red team. It was a trick play. We started out the, started out the scrimmage with a trick play. Nice, easy way to get going. We, uh, we started out with an option right, but we also had the reverse of the wide receiver. And he came in, and I happened to pitch it behind him, and the whole defense flew, and he just went around the corner for uh, 53 yards, I believe. Maybe it, it even farther than that. It was, I think it's, that might have been the... 60s, but Taker did an outstanding job. He had multiple plays where yeah. he went the better half of the field. And, uh, Senior was, Jacob Zager, number 13, he'll be playing wide receiver and then also a cornerback. He, and uh, yeah, he, he did great that game, man. He man, he had a lot of yards and everything. It was, it was excellent. And he had multiple plays that were just over 40 yards. Oh yeah, impact plays. He'll be a definite impact player this year. And the third best play of the game we had was actually. Uh, pass by Sam Penacachi and he passed it to none other than Jacob Zager yeah, Jacob for Zager. a 53 yard reception and it was almost a touchdown. It was, it was a great play. One last guy stopped him on the way to glory. He yeah. was right there and got him right at his knees so he took him down. But 53 yard reception, you know, we should see a lot of great things like that this year. You can't complain with that. That's just, I mean, you're going almost the whole field. You don't have to over half the field with that. Oh, so yeah. And fourth best play of the game, which I think is the best, but we'll put that aside. He, uh, it was a pass from none other than number seven, David Vega, to uh, Devin Simmer, a junior, also he'll be playing running back. It was a pass right out into the side, the flats we call it, and uh, you know he caught it, he turned, he turned the whole field around. He went right back, juked me out, and uh, he ran it, I forget how many yards, but it was a heck of a touchdown. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was around 28 yards, and it was, Man, his, his, it would have been it would have been a 10, 15 yard pass if he would have got tackled, but just the way he runs the ball is just outstanding and in, in the league we are in, just he can do some great stuff for our team and it's gonna be great. And that was the winning touchdown pass for our red and white scrimmage. So. Yeah, we should see a lot of great things out of him this year. Yeah, that was excellent. And also we had a few J V players that uh, showed out to play. Yeah, a couple of J V players step up, play on varsity, you see what they got. We had Ben Hula, who is a sophomore, and we actually had a freshman come out and play, which is Spencer Anquino. And yep. man, I was surprised with both of them. Ben Hula had, had an interception right at the goal line to stop the touchdown by me. So uh, he, he stopped that touchdown, which I mean I gotta give him his kudos. And he also had a fumble recovery, which Yeah, he had a fumble recovery where he uh, Devin Simmer, he was running along the side and he couldn't catch the pitch. And Ben Hula fell right on it and gave the red the ball right away. I believe we scored off that drive, so it was a great turnaround. Yeah, and Spencer did great too. And for a freshman, I mean, as a freshman, I couldn't imagine yeah. being on varsity that just, especially with the way our team's going now, with how our defense is just 
completely changed and playing cornerback and just being there for the play. You know, he's yeah. you guys, he's, you guys he's a great that. athlete, and uh, he's definitely gonna help Whitmore like out in the future. Another young kid that played is Austin Tanner. He's another freshman. He uh, he played linebacker, which is a tough position for a freshman, if you know. And he also played tight end, so he had some rough spots to play. He, uh, yeah, he freshman, definitely showed up. As a freshman, playing linebacker, hitting kids who been playing four years more than you or four years older than you, man, that's that's tough. And they they all did a great job, and yeah. I shall not I shall not tell them they did excellent. Yeah, they did a good job. The red and white scrimmage has been a long tradition in Whitmore Lake history. Uh, although the past few years, you know, we may have not had the turnout we needed to get the red and white scrimmage done. But uh, this year, things are turning around and we can just tell by that scrimmage. Because you had two teams, and each team could have been a team on their own. I believe that, that you could have put one team against another team and they would have played face to face. But uh, one thing we're all looking forward to is just putting those teams together. No one got hard feelings, no one, uh, no one felt bad. All we did was look up and be positive because we knew those teams were going to play together. And then that's going to be the big team that comes through. And yeah, it was just a great night. And one of the best things I loved about the night wasn't even a play. It was actually, as one of the 10 minutes clocked down on the clock, just you heard everyone saying, let's go 10 more minutes, let's go 10 more minutes. And for a team that goes from, in the past couple years, just getting blown out in games and all of a sudden just wanting to go 10 more minutes and, yeah. and putting their heart into this whole scrimmage. And uh, and then right after, you know, give each other high fives, hug each other, tell each other a great job. Just we, uh, we had a great turnout by the fans. The fans were great, they were positive. They, uh, they like to see everybody participate. And you know, the more the merrier. That can't be more than true. You see, uh, you see a lot of fans that they've been there a while, but they act differently. You see them different this year, and you, you're ready to see positive things out of the team. Yeah. So I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank everyone who came out to the game and supported uh, their team and hope to see you guys in a future game. I also want to thank P. Barry Bean for letting us borrow their stage yep. and their establishment to shoot this video. And I hope you guys tune in for the following weeks when we do more of these videos after our, uh, the rest of our scrimmages and games. Yeah, we'll be here every week. Uh, whether what we talk about, we don't know. But uh, we'll see what the highlights are. Maybe we'll see a player and uh, good things are to come. Uh, we want to thank La Vega for sponsoring this whole thing. We get this whole thing organized and uh, it's a great deal. You'll see us every week. I'm Sam. I'm David. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week.